Hello everyone. How are we doing? It's good to see you today. I am very happy. I feel like I got a really nice, I need to mute that, sorry. Um, I had a really nice productive day today. Um, um, oh, is this the end or a filler episode? Um, I would call it more of a filler episode. We have, hey, hey, JJ. Um, if you want to call it a filler episode, I think they're all crucial and everyone should watch them. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun today doing some kind of, um, bonus kind of cleanup stuff. Hey, Cry, what's up? Um, so we're actually gonna hop in here today and we're gonna try to clean up some trainers in, um, Victory Road that I want us to fight for some levels. I just did the super repel. What am I talking about? Um, Wally is still just kind of hanging out here. I think you can rematch him, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, the Tier 1 Larvatier um, subscribers get the Larvatar plushie um, emote, which I am over the moon about. I think it's delightful. Um, and, you know, Pupitier, there might be an emote for you, and Tyranitier, there definitely will be one for you as well. Um, I just wanted to have a little fun with that. Um, let's see here. Let's see, we'll push this around. So really, I'm just trying to find all the trainers that we have not yet, um, battled here in Victory Road. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to get to all of them. Most of them should be in one room. Um, let's see. Oh, there you are couple more here because we got to get this uh, valuable experience before the Pokemon League and that is the worst possible switch in we'll go to Harry I guess not switch in lead I should say can we still hit our blizzard let's try it yeah baby even with double team um please one shot thank you um, so yeah, we gotta get that experience. I know that I'll probably end up doing a little bit of off-screen grinding, um, just because I want to get all, I want to get the whole squad to level 46, um, before we take a shot at the Pokemon League, because, ooh, and this is nice, I gave my Torkoal our Shell Bell! It had the Macho Brace on for the longest time, but its stat experience is probably maxed out at this point. Um, let's see, and now we got Kadabra. Um, um, well, hey, um, the, the Pupitar emote is for the Pupiteer subscribers, um, which is just the Tier 2, and Tyranitar's Tier 3. Um, let's see. We'll just go to Blaine for Kadabra. But how's everybody doing today? Like I said, I had a nice productive day. I was working on new Silver Cave stuff today, which made me so very happy. Um, because I was just able to release some stuff, which really kind of reignited my love. And uh, I have some time to knock out more original music, which makes me very happy as well. Let's see here. We fought that fella. Where does this lead? Okay, this takes us right here. I just want to make sure we don't miss anybody. Um, we fought her already. Now, the reason that I want to get to level 46 um, is because that is... I thought there was an item there. Um... That is the level where Chimeco learns Psychic, which will be really nice. Um, we actually... The TM for Psychic is in Victory Road. I don't know if we've picked it up already. No, I think it's right here. Ha! Speak of the devil. Speak of the Psychic. Um, but we're saving that for something uh, super special that I don't want to spoil. All uh, right, so now we have this little ledge area all around the outer edge of this room where there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> uh, where there's a lot of trainers that we still need to fight. Um, 
Ooh, you're doing a monotype grass run of Omega Ruby. Who's your favorite grass type in Gen 3? Um, it's, it is, it is Sceptile by a substantial margin. So I'm going to, I'm going to eliminate Sceptile for the time being. Other than Sceptile, let me think. Um, other than him, it's probably Breloom. I really enjoy Breloom. I think it's a, a cute yet fierce little guy. Um, and it has that nice little mushroom, uh, mushroom hat. So yeah, definitely Sceptile, but it's Sceptile by such, by this much. Um, so if I'm eliminating Sceptile, I'll say Breloom. But that sounds delightful. Um, I've probably said on here before, I'm doing a mono grass run of, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Violet. Excuse me. Um, which has been delightful. I still haven't finished it yet. I've kind of slowed down on it. That was a critical hit. Maybe. It didn't say critical hit. That's feel, I feel like that did so much damage. Oh, I know why. Because it wasn't normal type earlier. That hit of Slash got stabbed. The other hit didn't. That's crazy. Ah, oh, Waylord. This would be great for Piccolo. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just going to heal him. Ah, uh, Wailert is awesome. I don't know if we've really seen it in our run so far. Um, it is the evolved form of Whalemur, of course. How did that do so freaking much? Um, it is such a huge Pokemon. It's insane. Um, if anyone has played uh, new Pokemon Snap, when it, like, comes out of the ocean it is just so ridiculously huge and it's hard to get a good picture of it because it's so big um slam is a terrible move we don't want slam oh and graveler we're fine we're gonna be leaf blading up a storm um now to access more of these trainers in victory road i actually had to deposit um ron the agron but what I did is I, I leveled him up a little bit on wild Pokemon, so he doesn't need the experience as much as these other fools. Um, okay. We'll get Harry in the front. Yes, I was wanting a double battle. And super potions aren't the biggest thing in the world. We still have those soda pops. I'll probably end up buying a few more. Um, before we go to the Pokemon League, just because I like to have the... get a little bang for my buck as far as using potions go. I don't want to be using hyper potions on Pokemon that only need like 30 more hit points or whatever. You know what I'm saying. Do, 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 do. I like how all the cool trainers have green hair as well, which is fun. Oh, this is nice. We resist the psychic attacks. Hmm. Lovely. Even though James really needs, really needs uh, another move right now. Um, ooh, skill swap. I don't know what Claydol's ability is. Uh, but, but, ooh, Confusion will be neutral on Metacham. Shocked I didn't think of that earlier. But yes, once Chimeco gets Psychic, we're going to be sitting pretty. Um, I'm also going to cheat teach Chimeco Shockwave. Um, want to attack into James again. Um, because it'll be nice to have an electric attack for the Elite Four. Um, let's see. What's up, Yuka? How you doing? Um, da -da -da. Ooh, double clayed all. This is going to be wonderful for Surf. I'm going to hit into that other one to see what they bring out next. Um, let's see. Nice. Getting some levels. Love it. Lantern. Lantern is a delightful Pokemon. Ooh. Um, i got to be careful, though, because Lantern could have the ability Water Absorb. Um, and we don't want that to happen there. So let's, let's do one of these. Oh, uh, okay. Lantern Avoid hit clay all that's great that is great <laughs> this isn't ziggy okay I, I may i can probably make a ziggy emote as well excuse me i'll work on that tonight 
Tonight or tomorrow, I'll make a Ziggy emote. I'm literally writing a note right now. <laughs> I'll have one for you next time. Ooh! Wow! Okay. There we go. Uh, Harry has levitated. Got levitate from Claydol, it seems. That is brutal. Don't use a full restore. Just don't do it. Thank you. Lantern's a great Pokemon, very underrated. It's very, very bulky. Um, perfecto. All right. Let's see. Uh, we can start with Guzzle. I feel like we just haven't used Guzzle that much recently because she's so good that she just doesn't need to be used as much. There we go. We'll get into this lady's business. Oh, perfect. Perfect lead for a Skarmory. Um, and it is interesting because all of these trainers are actually good. <laughs> um, there we go. We get that little bit of shell bell damage. We'll stay in. This could be a one shot as well. Sableye is not the strongest Pokemon at this point in the game. I mean, it's still pretty good. It's a one stage. It's a lot like Torkoal where it's like good early game, not quite as good late game. Um, but Torkoal getting... Um, I'm going to swap into Blaine, actually, just to get a little experience. Oh, full restore, crap. Um, Torkoal getting Flamethrower is just so incredibly good, um, especially as early as it gets it. I think it got it at, th I think it got it at 36, um, which is great. Love to see that. Perfect. Bang. All right. On, let, me, let me make sure the squad is up to snuff here. There's a couple supers. Just have one super potion remaining there. All right. So this person is interesting. This person is interesting. They, if you remember, right north of Mauville City, we fought that family like a bunch of times in a row in the house. This guy says, I trained together with my whole family, every one of us. I'm not losing to anyone. They uh, heavily imply that this dude is a part of that family that we fought in that house, but he's like the strong one. He made it to Victory Road. Really cool little Easter egg. Cool trainer Vito. And another thing, all the other members of his family have a V, uh, v name. Um, their name starts with a V. It's awesome. <laughs> Brody. Um, okay, so for Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, it's stretching out a little bit just because we don't play it as much. Um, but also, it is a game where... You really just kind of play the card game. That's mostly what the game is. There's not a ton of story. Um, but so far, we have defeated two of the five ghouls we need to defeat. Um, and in that game, let's see what will be good for Electrode. Please pick a little. Um, once you defeat the five ghouls, you get the chance to basically do like the boss rush at the end of the game um, in the in Yu-Gi-Oh. And once you do that, you technically, you can play forever, but you will beat the game. And that's probably when I'll stop playing. Um, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, it feels like it goes on forever. I really enjoy the Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, oh, it's so annoying that he set up light screen. There we go. Uh, I knew it was going to blow up. Gosh dang it. So silly. So, so very silly. Um, so, I mean, we don't, have, we don't have too many more streams of doing Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't think. Um, because once we defeat all those fools, 
we'll, we'll be pretty much in the end game. Oh yes, yeah, so I was like, what is that? It's my shell though. I thought I had like a paralyzed cure berry or something. Ooh, okay, good. Great. <laughs> Got one HP on that shell bell. Flail. Ah, uh, no, I'm not really into flail. Because really our um, set of Curse, Protect, Body Slam, Flamethrower has done wonders for Guzzle. Oh, yeah. No, I get you. Um, I guess it does seem that way because there's so little story to it. Because, like I said, it's like... It kind of functions more as, like, if you really like playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, you can just challenge the, uh, the NPCs, like, a ton, you know? There we go. Because once you beat the game in Yu-Gi-Oh!, there are, like, a few more characters you can fight. Um, you can do, like, duels that have like, monotype, basically. Like, you can make your deck a monotype, and it will, um, be what you have to use for the duel. And then he says here, better than my family? Is that possible? Meaning we told him, like, hey, we beat your family too, homie. Um, I don't remember what's here. A full heal. Great. Love a full heal. Um, okay, so if we surf back over here... Excuse me. I know we've defeated all the trainers before the waterfall there. Um, now I want to backtrack just a little bit to make sure that we fought everyone up and around here. Ooh, I think there's an item we did miss as well. Yes. A beautiful, beautiful item. It's probably like a full restore or rare candy, is my guess. A full restore! Haha, <laughs> I was correct. Lovely. Um, and now I think there is a double battle in one of these rooms, and that might be the only only thing left we have. I, we might have already done it, also. Let me do this. Speed this up a little bit. Just some rock smash business. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da, 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 da. Oh yeah, that's just that item up there. I think we're good to go, kids. We have defeated the trainers in Victory Road. So let's get out of here. Let's just use an escape rope. We got plenty. Perfect. Um, so we definitely have to level up a little bit more, but that's not my goal right at this second because there is one thing that I wanted to do and this is something that I never do. Um, I want to pop up here. Yes. Let's see. First I want to heal the squad. Alright. No, that's not what I want. Okay. So we'll grab Ron. Special boy. Um, let's see. Actually, we might not use Ron, Ron right now. Uh, Brody, I'm going to test something here. Just for you. Because I think you named Cloud, right? Um, can Cloud learn... Secret power? Okay, I think every Pokemon can learn secret power. So I'm going to teach Cloud secret power. Um, make a Zigzagoon one that's free and a Linoon that's tier 1 sub. Oh, I get that. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to teach Cloud secret power. Because this is a move that we are not going to use. And we'll get rid of Growl. I mean, we are going to use it, just not in battle. Because this here is how we make our secret base. And I have never really done secret bases, but I always thought this 
bush right here. This is the perfect spot for a secret base. If this clump of grass can be moved, it might be possible to go inside. Use the secret power? Absolutely. Ah! Oh, discovered a small entrance! Hooray! I absolutely want to make my secret base here. Ah, oh, this is delightful. Um. Okay. So now we want to decorate our secret base, but so far all we got's a low tad doll. Um, so I'm just gonna put it right there. Oh, it can't be placed there. Does it have to be placed on something? Okay, so I can't do this yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> hasn't happened since episode three, hey! I wanted to give you a little Easter egg. Okay, so now I wanna build our secret base a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a spot here in Fort Tree City, I read, <laughs> because I don't ever do anything with secret bases, where you can buy desks and chairs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. So now I have to find it, because I was not prepared and I do not remember where it is. Oh. I love that noise. Um, all right. Ah, look, this looks like a... A merchant of some kind? Yes. Um, let's see. I'm not tr I'm not trying to spend my entire life savings. Um, oh, that one looks pretty good. Pokemon desk. Might go for that one. Yeah, I like that one. Okay. So that's great. And now we can do... Let's see. I like the wooden chair. Ooh, the camp chair. That's neat as well. Do -do -do. I'll buy... I'll buy two of those, actually, because I like those. Do -do 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 -do. And I know there's, like, a ton of other stuff you can get for your secret base. Let's see. I did read that uh, the Lily Cove department store is the place to go. Okay. So if we go to the fifth floor here, there should be a lot of things that we can buy for our secret base. Ah, delightful up here. So yes, we can buy a bunch of dolls. How cute. Um, all right, so these are awesome. Ooh, Reg Ice, huh? I don't know, maybe. Um, I'm trying to figure out which Poke, Poke doll to buy here. I really like the Dust Skull one. I'm gonna get the Dust Skull one. That is great. Um, okay. But here, what can I buy here? Ah, some cushions. Love it. Da, I don't know what the diamond cushion, the Ziggy one. I mean, I figured that's what you picked, but that is what I want to get. I want to get the Ziggy one. The zigzag cushion. This is costing me a fortune here, kids, but that's okay. Um, hmm. Let's get the grass cushion as well. Because we we went with the grass starter. All right, so let's pop back down here, and then we'll decorate our secret base a little bit. Because there's a ton of stuff that you can buy. But again, I ain't trying to spend my life savings. Um, where are we? We're at Fortress City. This is our our secret base. Is there a Zig? I don't think there's a Ziggy plush. Oh, there might have been. I can look again. Um, but here we have our secret base, of course. All right, so let's let's get our desk out. Oh yeah, we got a big desk. I'll just put you right there. Um, got a couple chairs. We'll just put you off to the side. Just like that. Oh, I can get plants and ornaments and mats. 
Ooh. Okay, we got our Duskull doll and our Lotad doll. We'll just set those right there. Alright, is there anything else we can do? I don't think so. That's everything we have right now. Oh, and our cushions. Um, uh, got the Ziggy cushion. Oh, I can't put place there. Well, Ziggy's gonna go right in the corner. No! Oh, does it have to be, like, on something? Oh, I guess so. Okay, so I'll use our grass cushion later. Ah! Oh, how delightful so far. Um, a part of me thinks there's stuff that you can buy in Slateport City as well. Um, because there is this special market down here. <laughs> there's the special market down here. I believe it's where we bought revival herbs. Oh, it's Jeffrey. That's all today. Oh, wow, Jeffrey. Don't do that ever again. That was scary. Uh, okay, what do you have? Ah. Wow. Thanks. Oh, thanks for the powder jar. Apparently you can make berry powder. I actually don't ever use that. Um. Ah. Well, how about that? I've never done that before. Um. Ah, yes, we got some, we got more decorations here. Um, <laughs> it's filled with water. That's interesting. Oh, we got some mats as well. Love it. Oh, great. Um, we can play some music. All right, I'm doing this whole thing. I don't even care. We're gonna be able to play the piano like we're in big. <laughs> Tempting, Brody, it's true. Um, da -da -da. There we go, okay. So we can play all those notes. I knew there was something there. Ooh, we can buy a brick too. Guys, I'm going crazy right now because I'm just, I'm just so excited. Um, I'm gonna get the blue brick. The blue brick. Good thing I have so much money. Um, okay, that guy definitely looked like he was a chef of some kind. Ooh. Oh! Oh, that's nature power, I think. And this looks like hidden power. Interesting. Or was that secret power? I don't even know, man. Ah, yes. And you, I think you sold us our, ah, yes. Um, a couple more dolls. I don't really care about those ones though. Um, but yeah, this little market in Slateport is delightful. The vibes are great. You can buy some polka dolls. You can buy some vitamins. You can buy some mats, some other stuff. It's great. Look at this. It's lively. Um, all right. Um. <laughs> oh, you want a zigzag unimode? Oh, I see. I see. Um. Oh, yes, that's just secret power. Um, alright, let's fly up here and decorate our secret base a bit further. Oh, that is a very cute zigzagoon, it's true. Um. I'll make one, don't you worry. I got you. Okay. Apparently we can put stuff on the brick. Ah, nice, okay. So maybe we can put our little cushions on the, on the brick. Let's see. Oh, lovely. Um, ah, yes, now we have our mats. Let's see, we'll just do it right along the, mm, 
do it right here, I think. Hmm, hold up. Can I move stuff? Or do I have to put it away first? Oh, I don't want to have to put it away first. That's annoying. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them down where I want. All right. Uh, no. Here we go. This is what I want. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Guys, this is so delightful. I am just sitting here slack-jawed because this is not something I ever do. Oops. And once we get all of our musical notes set out, we can play ourselves a little tune. In theory. I think it said it would make a noise if you step on it. Hooray! Oh, what delightful fun this has been. Um, I just wanted to show off the secret base stuff because this is just a really cute feature that people like to use on <laughs> my new single. <laughs> yes, um, just this is really, really cute. I really, really enjoy this. Again, I never, ever do this, but it's great. Mm. So, a few other things that we can show off here. Um, I want to grab the Acro Bike. Because we have not really shown this at all. So here, the Acro Bike gr goes a lot more slowly than the Mock Bike. But you can press B and ride on one wheel. And if you just sit there and hold B, you'll start hopping. Ah, oh, how cool. And you can hop in one direction or the other. Whew, whew, whew. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. So then I, the reason that I picked up the mock bike is be, or the acro bike rather, is that there are some little spots here um, west of Fortree where we can do some cool stuff. Um, so we'll put away Cloud for now. All right. So we can scoot on down here. And we can finally use Waterfall here. Oh, being back here, it's it's... It's uh, bringing back memories of fishing for our boy Feebass. Um, Harry, we like to call him. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I thought you sent the whole Bible in the chat. Hey, it does kind of look like it. Um, so let's see. All right, we're going to pop up here. Oh, you can do a secret base right there in that little indent if you want to. So we're going to use Waterfall to pop up here. And there is just a little acro bike puzzle up here. Ah, some rare berries as well. These would have been great for evolving Feebas as well. Luckily, we were able to get them a little bit earlier. Um, so this is really the first time showing off an acro bike puzzle. Um, if you go over here, you can hop just across those little platforms, if I can do it right. There we go. Um, and we can pick this up here. And this is another platform I don't really think about using too terribly much. Um, or a little puzzle that I don't get into um, too terribly much. 
but I wanted to show it for you guys. Another little secret base spot. <laughs> the beach episode. Hey. There we go. And then get a nice... Yeah, you can just pick up a nice nugget and rare candy if you use your acrobike. Um, another instance of the acrobike that I will actually show you. Um... Because I realized we hadn't used the acro bike in this entire run. Um, what's up, Loctes? Hi! Um, so here, you see these special little boulders. You can just get hopping, and you can hop right up them. To hop right up Jagged Pass. I'm just a hopping fool over here. And there's that magma hideout. Um, oh, I guess that... Uh, so we can hop up here again if we want to. Um, so we previously, when I wanted to get back up Jagged Pass, I just went back up the cable car. So that way I didn't need to have the acro bike on me. Um, but it's nice to be able to do it. Oh, there, there are actually some trainers up here. We can, uh, we can smoke these fools while we're on our way up Mount Chimney. Uh-oh. Um, yes, Brody, Trent is my real name. It is my real name. Um, it is, you know, it's the one I got, baby. So we have our favorite little lava cookie grandma there, but we're going to drive right by her to fight some of these trainers. At this point, they should not be very strong. So I'm pretty sure Chimeco is going to just one-shot everything. Yeah, 21. That ain't nothing. Look at this. Goodbye. Um... Let's see. <laughs> there might be enough here for James to hit the next level. It is nice to pick up a little bit of money, considering that we just spent our life savings on poke dolls and desks and whatnot. Um, <laughs> you thought my parents named me Silver Cave. Hey, that would have been amazing, um, whatchamacallit, foresight on their part to name me after um, an area in a game that would come out after I was born. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Ah, crap. Fake out's good to get one little hit. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, nice. Get a nice rematch rematch with expert Shelby. Ooh, a double battle! Hooray! And this is right by that little meteorite machine. Um, I guess it's funny that they are guarding the meteorite machine, so to speak, if you forget to grab it, if you want to return it to Professor Cosmo to get the return TM. Because um, the return TM is really good. We're probably not going to use it, but it is good. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let me check something really quick. Um, yes. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Ah, uh, not quite next level for James. What can you do? So let's see. I think the next thing I want to do, um, first things first, is we gotta pick up our mock bike again. Oh, and what's so great about the mock bike and acro bike uh, situation here in Generation Three is anytime you want to switch, you just talk to him and he'll switch you. It's no big thing. You can do it infinitely. It's wonderful. Let's see. Okay, great. So, now what I want to do is I want to take another couple cracks at Rayquaza because I feel like now that our levels are a little bit higher, um, <laughs> they use Future Sight. Um, now that our levels are a little bit higher, we can hopefully not get one shot by him instantly. 
and actually have more of a chance. It's my sincere hope. Um, oops, not what I wanted. We're gonna heal, because Chimeco has like one damage on him. And that could be the, the difference between life and death. Okay. So now we can pop this super repel. Lovely. And we're gonna take our same route back to the sky pillar. We're just gonna sneak through here. Okay. So now it's gonna be, maybe, mock bike time. Okay. Okay, I think I have to, no I don't. Uh, I thought so, I need to have a little more run up there. I never, ever have this memorized. There we go, we can do those first two. Crap! Well guys, I'll get up to Rayquaza eventually, I promise. Um, there we go. Um, I actually got really lucky last time <laughs> because we had a rappel up that ended in the exact perfect spot. And I'm pretty sure that'll happen now in the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't mind me. Ah. <laughs> uh, I. <lo> <laughs> I mean, Ziggy is pretty much part of the team. Um, oh my gosh, guys, I can't do it. Why am I so bad? I'm so bad at the game. Okay, that's good because I was going to do the wrong thing. Um, but I love our team too, Brody. I think it's a delightful squad. There we go. Okay, good. Tough part's over, in theory. Wonderful. All right. There we go. I knew I'd get there eventually. So with that, we just got to go around the bend. And we will get back to our big green friend. Hello, sir. Good to see you again. Um, hello, my friend. We meet again. All right. Lovely. Let's do it! I'm gonna save again because I have anxiety. Now let's do it. Uh, Brody, I know you want us to use a Pokeball. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that or not. I am not trying to spend the rest of my life trying to catch Rayquaza. Um, I don't want to use a Master Ball. Um, because I think that it could be fun to use a Master Ball in another scenario. Um, excuse me. Because it's just like, you know, using the Master Ball on the box legendary is a little bit basic, you know? I don't want to have a little bit of swag to our run. Um, okay. Ron should be able to better live some hits. We got five more levels and we evolved. Hopefully we can live one outrage. Yes! All right. And we miss Rock Tomb. Nice. Nice. We're doing great, guys. Um, all right, we'll just bring in Harry. See if I can get some Blizzard action going. Oh, my goodness. Guys. This is terrible. This is the worst. I feel like this is the worst luck we've had. 
Um, all right. Oh my goodness. Um, it's fine. It is funny that we outspeed. Okay. <laughs> Let's try to maybe... We don't really have anything else to lower its stats. We can raise our speed and attack here. Um, oh crap. Well, this is going horribly. Well, we can use Yawn if we can live one fly, which I highly doubt James can do, yeah. Um, so we did real bad. Um, we did the battle bad in that we were destroyed completely and immediately. So let's try again. I will say we got some pretty, we got some pretty horrendous luck, um, that time around. But it's really, it's going... It's going kind of how it was going. I really wish we were able to get the uh, paralysis there. Maybe I should just start with Ron. It didn't really make sense earlier earlier because Outrage was a guaranteed one-shot last time. Um, okay, we still, we still get outsped there. Um, all right, we might get the good. The confusion there is good because now we can hopefully set up a screech or two. Um, and that's fine. Da, 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 da. All right, so his defense is down six stages. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Wow, when you uh, completely lower its defense all the way and it hits itself in confusion, it is, uh, it is basically a one-shot, it looks like. That is hilarious. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was wonderful. Okay. All right, we're going to start with Ron this time. Because so far we're not even getting it That sounded hilarious, sped up. Okay, okay. We can tank a fly all day. That's nothing. That's just a free rock tomb, baby. Because lowering that speed is, is great. Um, because that just gives everyone a chance, everyone on our squad a chance to live at least one turn before being knocked out. Um, I mean, of course it does have extreme speed, but it just doesn't always use it. Um, and it does nothing to Ron, which is great. All right, we might be able to throw a ball here. Let's see. All right, we in the red. In the red. All right. Love that bell. All right, not even one shake. I feel like the first time we, like the first time we tried to catch Rayquaza, um, we got three shakes on a Pokeball. I swear that happened. Um, all right, here I'm not even worried so much about switching Ron out. Ooh. All right, we got a shake. We got a shake. Um, okay, so he's using rest now, which is fine. Because we can lower that defense a little bit, possibly with Iron Tail. Um, that's just going to be probably the best way to damage him. Um, I guess I guess Rock Tomb could be good as well, but that's about the same. And we get that speed drop. But it would be nice to get, like, 
maybe just like one or two defense drops, um, just so maybe some of our other uh, Pokemon can have some utility. There we go. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Oh, we held on. Held on. Um, okay, I'm almost positive a Metal Claw won't kill him. But... Ooh. Okay, I'll heal. Even though Outrage is going to come close to killing Ron again, which I don't like. Oh, and it's just, it just killed him. Wow, so that's like a big range on Ron. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to see if I can put Rayquaza to sleep, because I'm afraid that if it hits itself, it's going to kill itself. Oh, that's a terrible miss. Absolutely abysmal miss. Very unlucky. Okay. Um... <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so I'm afraid it's gonna hurt itself. Um, I'm throwing a ball. Throwing a ball. Does confusion help it uh, get caught? It sure does not. I don't think it does. I think it has to be like an actual status condition. Okay, rest. I actually don't hate that. Um, gives us a little more room to work. Um, what I should have done is buy some timer balls. Okay, Rayquaza is quad weak to ice. I'm, conf I'm curious, curious to see what a blizzard does. Um, okay, that's fine. I like that. I like that. One twister. There we go. Stay asleep. Great. All right, absolutely, I'm throwing a ball. Uh, I'll throw a Pokeball. I'll do it. I'll do it. <sighs> Dang it. Oh no, it's still confused. Dang it! <sighs> no, we're not doing that. We're not doing it. Okay. Guys, I'm about one attempt away from just throwing the Master Ball at it. If I'm, be if I'm being honest. Uh, we'll see what we can do here. Because I feel like this run has had a lot of me struggling to catch Rayquaza content. Don't kill me. Be a range. Be a good range. Yes! That focus band, baby! Okay, really happy to get another one. Um, <laughs> it just wakes up and poof, right with his tail. Oh, you're killing me, Rayquaza. And you got the three turn outrage, too. Wow. 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 Okay. Um, I'm going to see what we can do with Guzzle here. Um, maybe we can get a body slam. I swear that was a fourth turn of outrage. I feel like that should have been confused. I hate that. Okay. Um, I'll try to use some twisters, maybe get some flinches, because I know it's going to hurt itself just because I don't want it to. Oh my gosh, and it knocks me out. Ay ay ay. Ladies and gentlemen. And our boy James is still slower. Yes. All right, hurt yourself this time. There we go. Okay. I don't feel awful about this. I'm throwing an Ultra Ball. Let's see. Let's see. I... Oh, no. And this will probably kill it. Oh! 
Okay, I'm throwing an Ultra Ball. I might have to compromise with you here, Brody. I'm going to try not to use the Master Ball, but I might need to use an Ultra Ball. Because I just don't know if a Pokeball is going to do it. Even though that definitely didn't do it. Um... Okay, we hold on. All right, we have him at one HP. Come on, Rayquaza. Get the ball. Dang it, rest. I'll get rid of my red noise there. Um, I wonder if a critical hit Leaf Blade would even do a lot. I mean, okay. I don't really have much of a choice here. It's just if it starts using Outrage, it'll really just destroy himself. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yes, I only have Blaine left. Um... I don't think Blaine is faster yet. I think it is. It is faster, is Blaine. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, Dragon Breath just does nothing. <laughs> Blaine, I love you too. I'm just gonna throw an Ultra Ball, see what happens. Ah. Uh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oopsie. Let me try one more Dragon Breath. Get it into the yellow. Okay, fly. I don't hate that. Um, we might be able to live a fly. So far, we've only been able to get one shake. Um, live a fly. Come on, Blaine. Yes, good. All right, we gotta hit another clutch sing. Come on. Oh, extreme speed. He always has that extreme speed chance. Um, uh, guys, might be master ball time. Might be master ball time. Let me give it one more try. I'll give it one more try, and then I'm just going to use Master Ball on Rayquaza, because we've spent so much time trying to catch it. I'm not going to not catch it. <laughs> Ugh. Come on. Come on. Extreme speed, love to see it. Really, ideally, we would get enough rock tombs in to lower its defense so that, um, enough that um, every Pokemon on our team outspeeds it. That's the goal here with Ron. And we're getting some good luck with it using extreme speed and fly. I love that. Um, excuse me. Come on, Ron! You gotta hit your rock tombs, homie. Are getting lucky with some sleep. All right, let's. Good. Rayquaza is cooperating thus far. An Iron Tail. Okay, that's fine. Um. The unfortunate thing about Ron's move set is that all of his... That is three misses in a row, kids. That is three in a row. Um, all of Ron's good moves just don't hit. They just don't hit. All right, there we go. Good. Keep rocking. That's what I'm saying, Brody. Just keep rocking. Just It's like, just keep swimming. Okay. I would only want its defense down two stages, so let me try. Oh, you want me to heal? I guess I could. 
Ron does tank Rayquaza pretty well if it's not using Outrage, because it can knock me out with one Outrage. Um, the good news is that we are faster now. So here's my strategy. We're going to use a Strength here. Take that Outrage. And now we should be able to put Rayquaza to sleep. Um, especially before it hurts itself in confusion. Great. All right. All right. Okay. We're in a real spot here. I could try to weaken him a little more, but um, Rayquaza is confused, and if it hurts itself, it still might kill itself if it hurts itself. But, um... Oh, no! I want you to hit yourself. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, let's see. Nada. Oh, it's so confused. Don't die. Don't die. I don't want your experience, Rayquaza. I don't want your experience points. That makes me very sad. Makes me very sad. Oh well. Well, folks, okay. I've made a decision. I was going to use my Master Ball on Rayquaza this time. <laughs> I was going to use it on Rayquaza, but I'm just going to wait. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna catch it right now. I don't have to catch Rayquaza right now. You don't have to catch Rayquaza before the Pokemon League, and we still have other stuff that we want to do. So if I really feel like I want to come back and I want to use that Master Ball, I'll still have it. But I'm gonna wait because my Pokemon will be be in even better shape to try to catch him later. <laughs> oh, guys, oh, it makes me sad. It makes me sad that we were able, not able to do that. <laughs> um, end time, no. Oh, okay, well, Brody, I'll do one more thing. There is one more thing that I want to do. Um, I do want to pop over here. Um, because here we have the move deleter's house. And here you can delete moves off of your Pokemon. And this is very useful for deleting HMs off of your Pokemon, because you normally can't delete them just by teaching a move over it. You have to do this special move deleter thing. And specifically, that's why I want to use it, because we need to get rid of Flash on our friend Chimeco here. Wow, delightful. Um, so now, if you look, our Chimeco only has three moves, but now, oopsie, we are going to fill that move slot with this here TM, if I can find it. This one right here, Shockwave. Um, it's nice because we need an electric type move on the squad, and this move never misses. It's like electric type um, swift, basically. Um, all right. So James has his final move set. Um, the squad is looking great. We just got to get them up a few more levels, and uh, we'll be ready to take on the Pokemon League. We'll probably, we may or may not do that next stream. I'm still, I'm still deciding on what I want to do. Um, but folks, as always, you know I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Brody Cry, Mom, Loctas, JJ, uh, Yuka, I saw you in here. Thank you for joining me tonight. I know it was kind of a real uh, Emerald Variety stream. I was, we were kind of able to show off some random little things. It was, it was fun. Um, <laughs> the next stream probably will be uh, Wednesday, Brody. You're right. Um, but thank you. Really appreciate it. Have a good night. Have a good week. And I'll see you next time. Peace, kids.